Hello guys and welcome in a new grammar lesson which is grammar 2 of unit 12 the last grammar lesson in our uh, curriculum okay the last time we talked about I wish and if only had better it's about or high time and would rather today we are going to talk about would prefer and prefer and then we are going to, ta to, to take be used to and get used to of course what I'm talking about is in page 175 in the grammar reference okay so let's discuss together what are the differences between would prefer and prefer okay would prefer and prefer one of them we use it in uh, the would prefer we use it in a, uh, to, pref to show preferences in a particular situation not a general situation okay but we use prefer only without would to show preferences in general okay not in, a per in not in a particular situation so for a particular situation we use would prefer and in a general situation we use prefer only but we have different forms of both of them first i use would prefer plus a noun okay like i'd prefer fruit juice number two would prefer plus full infinitive I prefer to eat out or I prefer to drink juice or would prefer plus full infinitive plus rather than plus the bare infinitive okay like when I say I would prefer to play football rather than and then uh, eat uh, pasta okay so here uh, we have three forms form number one would prefer plus a noun number two would prefer plus full infinitive Number three, would prefer plus full infinitive plus rather than plus bare infinitive. Okay, what about prefer only without would? I use prefer only to show preferences in general as I told you about. Okay, as, as what I told you about. We use prefer plus a noun. I prefer healthy food. Okay, I can use two junk food. Okay, prefer plus full infinitive plus than, not rather than, only than plus bare infinitive I prefer to eat healthy food than eat junk food or I prefer plus ing plus two plus ing I pref I prefer jogging to sleeping okay I prefer reading to writing I prefer jumping to skipping okay so here we have three forms of prefer prefer plus a noun I prefer uh, sushi I or prefer plus full infinitive plus damn plus bare infinitive. I prefer uh, to eat uh, pasta than uh, eat um, sushi. Okay, or I prefer eating to sleeping. Okay, we can also use prefer with rather. I prefer to eat healthy food rather than. So I can say uh, 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 than or rather than. Both are correct. Okay. So now let's go back to our page of the grammar. The first grammar one, which we didn't solve it. Unreal past. Okay. Look at the sentences and underline the verb tenses after the phrases in bold. What do you notice about the structure? I wish I, if only I were fit and healthy. I wish if only I had taken my doctor's advice. I wish or if only he wouldn't eat so much junk food. Huh. What do we notice? Very good. The past tense where is used to talk about unreal present situation. Had taken is used to, ta to talk about unreal past, but a uh, hypothetical f uh, form wouldn't eat is used to criticize someone's action in the present. Where had, had taken wouldn't eat. We use the what with which if only to talk about situation in the present, which is different to what we'd like to be. Huh? Excellent. We use the past simple. We use the what with wish and of only to talk about something we regret doing or not doing in the past. Past perfect. We use what plus bare infinitive to talk about other people's annoying behavior in the present. Very good. Would. Let's move. Look at the sentences and underline the verb tenses after the phrases in bold. What do you notice about the structures? You had better change. I'd better not skip. It's high about time you started. Hmm. <laughs> What do we notice? Very good. We use had better or I'd better plus bare infinitive, high about time plus past simple. This is the rule. So let's complete the rules. We use what plus bare infinitive to give advice. Huh? Very good. Had better. 
we use the what with, with it's about or high time to talk about something that should have already been done. Very good. We use the past simple. Very good. Look at the sentences and underline the verb forms used after the word phrases in bold. What do you notice about the structures? Huh? I prefer to eat fruit than to eat ice cream. He prefers riding his bike to taking the bus. I'd rather cook than eat. I'd rather you didn't go to school today. So it will be? Uh, what can you guess here? Very good. Would prefer plus full infinitive. Prefer plus gerund. Would rather. Very infinitive or object plus plus simple. Plus uh, would rather. Yes, here. Plus or object plus past simple. Okay. So would rather. So let's go back to the grammar reference and talk about would rather. We use would rather, okay. To show a preference in the present or future, we use would rather plus bare infinitive when we are talking about ourselves. I'd rather make a sandwich than cook pasta. We use would rather followed by a pronoun in past tense when we are talking about somebody else in the present. So when I'm talking about myself, I use what would rather plus bare infinitive. But if I'm talking about somebody else, I use hmm, very good would rather then a noun, then past simple. Shall we go jogging this evening? No, I'd rather we stayed at home. Okay. So we have two forms of would, would rather. Would rather plus a bad infinitive or would rather plus pronoun plus past simple. Okay. So let's go back to our lesson. Look here, would rather, then infinitive, then then, then infinitive, very infinitive. Or would rather, then pronoun, then past simple. Okay. Next. Complete the rules. To express a preference, we use would prefer plus, very good, plus full infinitive. Or prefer plus, gerund. Or would rather plus, bare infinitive when we are talking about ourselves. And would rather plus past simple when we are talking about somebody else. So this rule is very important. Okay, let's solve this question, these questions together. I'm absolutely starving. I wish I lunch earlier. Huh? Very good. I wish I had had. If you want strong bones, you had better. Excellent. Eat. Carl feels awful. If only he in the cold without his jacket yesterday. Excellent, hadn't gone out. Penny prefers contact lens to glasses. Prefer, huh? prefers what? Prefers wearing, excellent. Okay, next, it's high time we going to a gym. It's high time we started. Why started? Because high time and uh, it's about time. All these are what past tenses, okay? And here, why, is, why I put ing? Because I have two. Two, so we say ing, then two. Complete the second sentence so that they have similar meaning to the first sentences used, the words in bold. What a pity we didn't have a first aid kit when Pop cut his finger. If, very good, if only we had, we would had had. Please don't sneeze all over me. I'd rather... Excellent. You didn't sneeze. Now I'm talking about someone else, you. So that's why I put it the past simple. Bridges, re uh, Bridget, regret not training harder for the marathon. Bridget, what? Very good. Had better wishes she had trained. Okay. So uh, Bridget wishes she had trained. Okay. Number four, your cough is really bad. You should see a doctor. Mm hmm. Very good. You had better see a doctor. Don't eat with your mouth open. It's disgusting. I 
I wouldn't, I wish you wouldn't eat with your mouth open because this is something annoying. So, I wish you wouldn't eat, okay? Now, let's go to grammar two. And I told you the inversion, the inversion part is cancelled. But let's uh, go and explain be used to and get used to. They are very simple, guys. The be used to, when I say I'm used to this, okay, and the get used to, I'm I'm getting used to it. I'm still in the in the in the steps of getting used to something, okay. Both of them comes after them verb in the ing form, okay. As I told you, is used to jogging, okay? So, so is she, she is used to it, okay? Because she had been doing it for ages. We use get used to to talk about actions and states which are becoming more familiar. Still, they are in the beginning. The new chef is getting used to the way of our restaurant works. Be and get changed according to the tense. I can, I can say is used to, was used to, were used to, I can say is getting, got used to, okay, so I, I conjugate the be and the get according to the tense of the sentence, okay? Tom was used to, huh? okay, I have been getting used to, alright, so be used to, I mean that, uh, we mean that here that we are used to something, but get used to, I'm still at the beginning of getting used to something. And here, both of them comes after them, come after them, the verb in the ing form. Okay, let's go back to our grammar page. Grammar 2 section. And we are going to solve this part only. Okay, look at the sentences. What do you notice about the structures that follow be used to and get used to? Hmm. Very good. They both have the same structure. Okay, training, working. What is the difference between be used to and get used to? We use be used to plus noun or gerund to say that someone has done something or experienced something so often that is no longer strange or difficult for them. We use get used to plus noun or gerund to talk about situations or states that are or are becoming usual or familiar still, okay? And they ca can come after them uh, now. I say I'm used to city or I'm used to living in the city. I'm getting used to living in the city or I'm getting used to the city. Okay? Okay, so we won't take this. This is cancelled. We are going to solve this. Unfortunately, Mike still hasn't what... Very good. Hasn't got used to. People in Asia used to eating carbohydrates, particularly rice. Very good. Are used to. It took me a while before I got used to. Excellent. I don't mind cooking at all. I, I am used to it. Excellent. Do you think Tom gets used to his low-calorie diet? Very good. Well, amazing. So we won't take these, and we won't solve this, okay? So what you have here, guys, are uh, prefer, would prefer, uh, would rather, okay? I wish if only, okay? Uh, be used to, get used to. Okay, so these are the things that we want to study in grammar too, okay? I hope you understood the grammar lesson for today, okay? Thank you so much, and goodbye.